the jury find the defendant Daniel Villegas not guilty of Yo. What's good YouTube? Today we're gonna be looking at reactions of convicts being set free from prison. If I'm set free from prison, I'd cry like crazy. If you're watching this from YouTube, check us out on Twitch. We're live every day. Links in the description. Without further ado, let's get started. This is John Bunn. He spent 27 years wrongfully convicted of murder. I'm an innocent man. They better have paid him at least 20 million at the very least. I haven't even lived for 27 years. You cannot pay me any amount for doing 27 years and being set free. Hey, your honor, and I have always been an innocent man. While living in Brooklyn, New York, Bun was only 14 years old when he was arrested by NYPD detective Louis Scarcella. Bun later spent 16 years behind bars and then 11 years out on parole, where he still fought to prove his innocence. Then finally, his conviction was overturned based on the wrongdoing of Detective Scarcella and the fact that there wasn't even probable cause to arrest Bun in the first place. And you're telling me Bun is not getting arrested? Bun is gonna be set free, there ain't nothing wrong with him, but my man's just served 17 years as what, as a 14 year old? When you were 14, he was probably playing video games and shit. While bro was serving prison time behind bars. I want y'all to know that y'all convicted and had a wrong man in prison. And after 27 years of fighting to clear his name, he is finally exonerated. I want to thank you, Your Honor, because in 27 years, I've been fighting for my life. But before he leaves the courtroom, he has a moment with the judge. <laughs> Bun later filed a lawsuit against the city of New York and Detective Scarcella. This is David Ranta. He spent 22 years behind bars for a murder he did not commit. In Brooklyn, New York, Ranta was arrested by Detective Louis Scarcella. Yes, this is another wrongful conviction that's connected to Scarcella. Yo! So that man was just arresting anybody! Why did y'all believe this man? He already got one wrong, he got two people wrong. You know how much of an asshole you have to be to be an officer giving people wrongful sentencing? How do you go home at night knowing there's people arrested doing multiple years because you just wanted them gone? 22 years? I, have, I'm, I still haven't lived for 22 years! Ranta was put in a police lineup run by Scarcella and was identified as the shooter. But decades later, reportedly, the key witness revealed that the the detective had provided him with a description of whom to pick in the lineup. There was no physical evidence linking Ranta to the killing, and the evidence presented to the jury was allegedly fabricated. Ranta was then convicted and sentenced to 37 and a half years to life in prison. But after spending over two decades in prison, the former witnesses admitted that they were pressured into testifying against Ranta. Y'all waited that long to finally say, hey, yo, you know what, bruh? <laughs> Maybe we should come out and, and be honest. After 22 years? Well, Y'all couldn't make that decision the first two years? Maybe the first two months? No, the first two days. And it's crazy because they will not even serve any prison time. That's the crazy part. I feel like that's the least y'all could do. At least arrest them and compensate this guy like crazy. And now, this is the moment his conviction gets thrown out. Mr. Brenda, to say that I'm sorry for what you have endured would be an understatement and grossly inadequate, but I say it to you anyway. The defendant's motion to vacate the judgment of conviction is granted. <laughs> That's a great feeling, I'm not gonna lie. And another thing, hey, shout out to the way he's acting right now because if I serve 20 something prison, you think my reaction is gonna be, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, where are they? I would have been way much more pissed. I'm gonna be like, where's my money? Where's my money? That's the first thing I'm gonna say. After his handcuffs were removed, he hugged his family. With all he owned thrown over his back, Thank you. he walks out a free man. After his release, he reportedly received $2 million from the state and a $6.4 million settlement from the city of New York. $8 million for, for doing 20 something years. Still too little. Y'all could probably say no, but ask yourself, are you willing to give 22 years of your life for $8 million? No. I want to give any amount of money for that much, chat. This is Susan Mellon. She was sentenced to life in prison without parole based on an untruthful testimony. She was 42 years old when she was arrested in Los Angeles, California at a McDonald's while taking her daughter to get a Happy Meal. But that was a last- 
And y'all wonder why parents tell you that there's food at home. This is the reason. She got arrested while going to McDonald's. Hey man, can you really blame your mom? Who knows? She would have ended up like this. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's time she would see her child for seven years as she was charged for the murder of an ex-boyfriend. You are under arrest now for murder. Okay. Please, 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 please. I wouldn't do That's that. It. Mellon's conviction was based solely on an informant who claimed that Mellon had confessed the killing to her. She was in prison. That's your evidence? Trust me, bro. Because another person just said, oh, she told me this? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what court this is, but this is definitely a bootleg court. And for a total of 17 years. Until the informant was proven to be a pathological liar and an unreliable witness. And now, this is the moment that Mellon's case is finally overturned. The judgment is vacated, the conviction is overturned, and as to Miss Mellon, the case is dismissed. From no, but chat, really think about it. Even though this is a great feeling, you know how much years they robbed her of, of spending time with her daughter? Literally, her daughter had to talk to her mom through court for a crime that she not she did not commit. She did not raise her daughter. And for all her daughter knew, she was a criminal that murdered someone when nothing happened, which is sad, bro, but I'm glad she's out. From tears in one moment to jumping in joy the next. When released, Melon took her daughter to McDonald's to deliver that long-awaited Happy Meal. This Yo, you're better than me. I would have been like, you're the reason why I was there in the first place. I'm just playing. Don't you reunion yet. State of California awarded Melon $597,000 in compensation. And she did how much years? Y'all didn't even give her a meal? Look at the state she in. She has like a good five more years, respectfully. And that's how much you gave her? She did 17 years. And reportedly, the Los Angeles City Council agreed to pay $12 million to Susan Melon. This is Luis Vargas. He was sentenced to 55 years to life for crimes he did not commit. Vargas was 29, living in Los Angeles, California, when he was charged with three sexual assaults. Based on the similar descriptions of these crimes, police concluded that it was the same person that committed all three attacks. Vargas was later convicted on all counts, and he spent a total of 16 years- Wait, what was his crime? Vodkas. He was sentenced to 55 years to life for crimes he did not commit. Vargas was 29, living in Los Angeles, California, when he was charged with three sexual assaults. Okay, it's one thing being convicted of a crime. People thinking that you're a assaulter that, that gotta be worse because not only are you in prison but people are out there thinking that this is what you got arrested for based on the similar descriptions of these crimes police concluded that it was the same person that committed all three attacks vargas was later convicted on all counts and he spent a total of 16 years in prison until the California Innocence Project tested DNA on the remaining physical evidence and clothing from one of the victims. And it was not a match, proving that Vargas did not commit these crimes. He is in fact innocent because the evidence will show that it undermines the prosecution's case. Vargas sat silently when he was exonerated from all crimes. Vargas only had one simple wish from his mother for when he would become a free man. Please buy me a big hamburger and we eat it together. <laughs> W mom, you mom, man. W you mom. That was so wholesome, bro. After Vargas was exonerated, he received $886,000 in state compensation. Where's the other? Where's the other bag? You gave other people millions. You had people thinking for years that he was uh, an assaulter. So y'all better give him the bag too. This is Daniel Villegas. He spent 18 years in prison for a double homicide he never committed. In El Paso, Texas, Villegas was arrested at 16, where an El Paso detective reportedly threatened him with beatings and the death penalty if he did not confess. And the teenage Villegas signed a confession that was prepared by the detectives. He tried to withdraw- That is so sneaky. Oh my goodness. Like, you cannot be questioning teenagers, bro, without their parents. Look at his reaction, bro. As a 16-year-old dude. All his confession a few hours after, but by then, it was too late. He was charged with two counts of capital murder. With the false confession being the only piece of evidence, the jury was unable to agree on a verdict. Villegas had a retrial, and the jury returned a guilty verdict, and he was given a life sentence. After spending 18 years in prison, the verdict was thrown out, and Villegas remained out on bond where he got married and started a family. But now, we're in the third trial. 
If the defendant will please stand. This is the moment that Viegas will find out if he'll go home with his family or be sent back to prison to serve his life sentence. The state of Texas versus Daniel Viegas. Verdict form B. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daniel Viegas, not guilty of... Viegas is now a free man. You are no longer under any conditions. You are free to leave. Thank you. Reportedly, Viegas has filed a lawsuit against the city of El Paso. And how much did he get? How much did he get? I'm not seeing no price. This is Ricky Jackson. He spent over 39 years in prison for a murder he did not commit. Jackson was arrested at 18 years old, living in Cleveland, Ohio. The main way that explains it. It's true. I feel like if there was a city that would do it, it's that. Witness in the case was a 12 year old kid named Eddie Vernon, who in fact didn't see anything. And he said the police did pressure him into testifying against Jackson, which then later led to his conviction. Jackson initially was sentenced to die in the electric chair. But after spending two years on death row, his death sentence was reduced to life in prison. Nearly four decades later, the now 52-year-old Eddie Vernon came forward with the truth, stating that he never saw the murder happen. Charges against Jackson were- It be your own people, dude. You waited 40 years? 40 years to finally confess that your friend ain't do nothing? You're, you're actually an asshole. During that time period, did you just not think about it at all? You're like, oh, you didn't once think, oh, I wonder what happened to him. Were then dropped. And after being wrongfully in prison, for 39 years, this is the moment that Jackson hears that he is free to go. Mr. Jackson, you're going to be free to go. Life is filled with uh, small victories, and this is a big one. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Jackson is now outside for the first time as a free man. Jackson received $1 million in compensation from the state and an additional $2.65 million for lost income. Bro, who comes up with these compensations? Three mil for doing that long is crazy. Would y'all skip five years of your life? And if you would, how much money would you want for five years? I'm in my 20s. These next couple of years are valuable for me. For me to do five years, I'm going to need 100 mil is Kirsten Lombardo. She served 16 years in prison for a murder she did not commit. At 18 years old, she was charged with the brutal murder of a homeless man in Las Vegas. She was first convicted of first degree murder, but on a retrial, she was convicted on the lesser charges of- Okay, it's one thing getting charged for murdering someone that you know. Getting charged for murdering a random homeless man? And it's not you, if anything? That gotta suck. Voluntary manslaughter and sentenced to 13 to 45 years. Damn, bro. I feel like this is the perfect encapsulation of someone that knows they didn't do it, but they get convicted. Look at her eyes. You know, damn, my bro. She's like, what in the world? I didn't do this, bro. That shit is so sad. And after spending 16 years behind bars, a new hearing was presented with evidence that confirmed the actual day of the victim's death was when Lobato was three hours away with her family, proving that Lobato could not have possibly committed these crimes. This this is Lobato outside for the first time as a free woman. I feel overwhelmed. I feel excited. I feel grateful. I'm just, I'm so happy. Lobato has filed a lawsuit against the Las Vegas Police Department and her compensation claim is ongoing. But where to now? Okay, well we got Let's people go shop. to you. <laughs> Shout out to them, man. L Justice System, doe you people that got set free. If you're watching this from YouTube, make sure you guys join us on Discord, catch us on Twitch. Make sure you guys subscribe. Waxer for life. Love y'all.